Mention Lundy and birds, and people immediately think of puffins. After all, Lund I is Norse for Puffin Island. However, there are many other birds on the island, and it falls to the people of the Lundy Field Society to do the cataloguing. Now, this society was set up in 1946, and its remit was to further the study and conservation of Lundy's natural history and archaeology. Sometimes members of the Lundy Field Society come and put rings on birds so that you can tell what uh, up migration rates and uh, growth rates of the island's bird population and those that are visiting. This is a small female firecrest caught uh, on Lundy Island. This is an adult male blackbird. He's gonna say, "Why well, you, you can tell it's a male?" You can tell it's a male because it's black. You can tell it's an adult because there's no contrast between the primary coverts, which are black, and the greater coverts, which are black. On a juvenile, they're still brown. They don't molt those until next year. Okay. A garden warbler, yeah. which is not common on Lundy. Yeah. It's a this year's bird because it's got pointy tail feathers. See this? Adults have much broader, rounder tail feathers. After the birds are caught in traps like this, they are taken and a ring is put on them. They are measured, weighed, and this information is recorded for future reference. And then the birds are released. And all the collated data is published in the Lundy Field Society's annual report. When we walked in fields of gold